and welcome back. Today I will show you how to crochet one of the easiest dishcloths there is. It is very practical in use and very pretty. If you are a beginner, I recommend that you begin with a cloth like this. It works up pretty fast and it's very, very easy to do. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing so everyone can follow even if you are a beginner. So let's begin. And for the materials, the yarn is 100% cotton. I recommend that you always use cotton when doing cloths. This is a cream color in a size 8-4, that is a sport weight 2. For the hook I have used a 3.0 millimeter hook and then I have also used a tapestry needle and some scissors. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take your working yarn behind the loop and then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull a bit. Now we will do a chain. So your yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And this is how you chain. This is the foundation of your work and this is the ones we will be working in from now on. The length of your chain decides the width of your cloth. I'm chaining up 52 and my cloth will become 40, sorry, 24 and a half centimeters long. So if you want a bigger cloth than that, I recommend that you do maybe 60 chains or even more if you want a bigger cloth. But 52 chains will be 24 and a half centimeter cloth. When you're done with your chain, we will now be working into these ones. And we will begin working from the third chain. This is the first, this is the second and the third one. And we will work in half double crochet, so we yarn over and then we insert the hook in the third chain, so one, two, three, insert the hook in the third chain, then yarn over, pull through the first one and yarn over, pull through all of them. That's your first half double crochet. We will now be working into this next chain and again yarn over, then insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through the first one, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And again the next one, yarn over the needle. Insert your hook in the next chain. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first one. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain. Yarn over, pull through one of the loops. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Find the next chain on the bottom. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now you continue all the way across with one half double crochet in every chain. And just before you finish, I will show you how you turn the row. So uh, pause your video and meet me up when you are all the way across. When you're all the way across and you get to this point, 
It might seem like you got two stitches left, but this one out here, this is your slip knot from the beginning and you will never be working into this one. You can push it in a bit and see it's just a knot, it's not a stitch. So this one is your final stitch and we will do a half double crochet in this one. As well as the other ones. So now you're done with the row two, <laughs> row one, sorry, and we will now turn the work. We do that by chaining two, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now you turn the work and you see these stitches on top. You will skip the first two and work into the third one just like you did in the beginning. And we will still be working in half double crochet. So yarn over, count three stitches in and then insert your hook underneath these two legs of your V on top. Then yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then again, yarn over, insert your hook through the stitch on top. Yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. You continue with half double crochet for the rest of the cloth. So it's actually a really easy cloth to do. You will just continue half double crochet again and again. I recommend that you count your stitches if you are a beginner. If you began with chain 52 like I did, you will have 50 stitches because we skipped the first two, so you will only have 50 left. So count your stitches from time to time and make sure you got an equal number of stitches for every row. But just continue like this with one half double crochet in every stitch for the rest of the cloth. Remember each time you turn the row to chain two and then turn and then skip the first two when you begin the next row. I like my cloth to be as long as it is wide. So I will stop where it is 24 and a half centimeters long. Then I leave a bit of a tail and then cut the yarn. Chain one and pull the yarn through. Then grab your tapestry needle and we will now weave in the end. I will just show you how I do this. I don't think everyone is doing it the same way. I will just adjust this a little bit so we can get up and close. First, I will secure the yarn and then weave in underneath a few stitches. So just insert your hook, your needle, sorry, underneath these stitches. Just like this. Then pull through and not too tight, just enough until this one disappears. Then I will insert the needle again through the same stitches. It comes out here, so I will go in somewhere else, but underneath the same stitches as I did before all the way back and again don't pull too tight in the end that's it and a third time not going in the same where, uh, place as the yarn came out but someplace else but through the same stitches yet again three times that's enough and again don't pull too hard then cut the yarn And the yarn is secure. This won't get up through the washing machine and stuff. This uh, this is secure right now. 
So now you have a cloth. All done. Adjust again, sorry. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Bye!